can probably not see my face. Hello. This is a kind of intro for the new uh, channel. And we're not sure what the name is yet. But yeah, we're today to uh, be doing the video. Alright. Something on pets. Maybe to see how you guys are doing. I think I'm going to do three decks for this one. Oh, I need them meditating. And maybe I'll sing to Jax. Yeah. And you'll see uh, the cats too at times. other channel too and then once I um make uh that account the new one I'll put it there too Card. It 
demonstrate spiritual awakening. So you're probably going to find the true um, spiritual awakening, clarity, and revelations of the truth and cosmic conscience. So it's a wake up call to get your attention and you to see how far you come. You've done great, you've been through so much. And you need to step back and look in the past for a quick second to see how far you've come. Evaluation of true cosmic work. This card comes forth to do just that. Evaluations of the past along with lessons that you've learned or still need to learn must now be a top priority. priority. Doing so will enable you to forgive. So say something happened to family, um, maybe something happened with the, like a family member that caused a deceased um, pet you once had harm or maybe they didn't mean to and you gave them blame like say like other oh, you're out of town you're they're feeding your dogs cats or whatever and they open the door the cat runs out and they're trying to get the cat in and then or dog they run off uh, or get hit and then you blame them you need to be able to forgive and accept. Even if they're really not really good, you need to forgive that they're the way they are. They can't, well not can't control it. Uh, though I wish, or we wish that evil people can change. They're not and we need to know that, like, accept that they're not going to change, but you do not have to accept or forgive of what they did to your animals. If they're guilty of doing something that hurt them on purpose, the heart chakra, you need to learn how to feel Got sticker chakra. Okay. Where you need to uh, release your emotions and desire. Create, like, the rage you have, the sorrow you have. Put it in a picture, paint, or something. Or, like, yeah, paint, um, write or so. Try meditation, try to do yoga, do yoga. and nurture, nurture yourself. You do matter. In the heart, I think, is what I said. But you gotta release emotions or something like that. Let me see. Okay. Parallel to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, and harmony, relationship, and healing. It is, it is believed to the link between your mind, body, and soul. Balancing this out in this area may take a while, but you should allow it. Allow all the time that you need so, so the healing energy can get through and flow freely by loving yourself and others as well as learning forgiveness. Like I said, you don't have to be like, oh, I forgive you running over my dog or cat or something. I forgive you for hurting my animal. No, you do not have to do that. Um, just forgive that they're an evil person and they will get what they deserve in the 
hell above. Yeah, dental strength. You, like your animal, cat, dog, or whatever. Uh, like this, like a negative spiritual union. Like you need to try to release more emotions. And uh, for you to get through this, they want you to because either you're like constantly getting negative of what happened, you need to like just go into the future. Your animals want, your animal pets want you to go into the future and try to live your life. It may hurt, they want you to feel happy, they don't want you do not want you to be in pain. And that's what I'm doing so far. Lots of hot that spirit toy in it. Not fun. This card deals with the relationship involving the and an emotional bond. Maybe your pet and you were close enough and then it got ripped out. It could be between new lovers, kindred souls, family members, friends, business uh, associates or partners or pets. It could be related to a private project, a specific situation. Like say something happened to your pet or so. This would be a perfect time to realize all the relationship are really about you. Notice when you interact with different people in your life. Like you gotta pick and choose the um, negative toxic people. Like it says right here. Just you need to remove them from your life. Your pet wants you to remove them from your life. Because it's like, are they giving you energy or are they taking it away? Like, dipping from your bucket. That's what I've learned. Like, in the past. Is it an ex even exchange? There should be an equal balance between giving and receiving. So you gotta um, get away from toxic people if you can. Try to separate yourself from it. They, uh, they want you to have a healthy body and mindset. So there you go, power. We did your part. Thank you for watching. Love you. Heart and okay, pile two. Let's do your reading about your pet. Are they excited? Do they want to be with you? Do they have unfinished business? Okay, victory, success. Disruptions, Trump, heartache and loss, and Trump's success. Well, your pet is certainly um, cheering you on, um, but there's like maybe different type of uh, disruptions going on with your life. Maybe you try to get something done like either it's laundry or writing a book or trying to draw or finish a uh, school or so your pet is cheering you on your pet is cheering you on and Trump you're you're strong they're um they're very grateful I'm happy to see you, you being strong.
Your pet doesn't want that. They want you to be thinking clearly and all that. It's easy to slip off your intended path and be drawn away uh, from your desired goal. Now is not the time to do. Time to let go. Not the time to let go or allow the rivers of life to pull you in, it's caring. As you can see, so easily lose control. Grab your oars, grip them tightly, and steer carefully. Don't do it recklessly. You won't get anywhere from it. Just okay. I'm gonna keep forward, keep going on, but I'm gonna use my head, and not my heart. Maybe. Like you recently lost your pet and you're like, they were with you while you were trying to do this, trying to get to a goal and you're like, oh hey, yeah, we're going to get through this, you're going to see, and they will see, but just not physical, next to you, and it could have, maybe their death kind of disrupted you and kind of, and set you back or something. They don't like that. They want you to keep going on. Hey, I was here with you and don't get distracted. I don't want you to cry over my death. I'm still here with you, but I'm not physical. I'm in spiritual form. And the truth, success. Okay. The first of the mental cards signifies that new beginnings and exciting challenges may be before you by utilizing your success, willpower, and determination and focus. There's the potential for you to reign Trump in many areas in your life. In traditional tarot, this card would represent the Ace of Swords, since a sword is double edge. 
It can cut through the barriers that hold you back if it's done constructively and with precision. Remember that there's another side to the blade. If you're rash or use it in a, in a destructive way, it could be harmful to yourself and others. Always pause and think before you act. Like your pet says, they are like, go for it, but don't be too hastily. And yeah. They were with you while you were going through this and suddenly the death or their death or so stopped you, stopped you but you have to keep going. Be strong. Keep going after your dream. They're rooting for you. And yeah. Thank you, Paul, too, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hello, Paul 3. Welcome. And we will be doing you. Are they going to be happy? Are they going to say something to you or so? What is it that you need to share? So, boop, 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 boop. Okay, help. There are hope. Uh -huh. Maybe you were in a depression and their death was uh, wrong. Maybe. Come on. I will need to get the card out. And uh, hope. They're saying that you have hope. Third eye chakra. Let's do that. Oh, we got it on the first try. Well, second try. Third eye. This is the most talked about the chakras in clairvoyant. Inner seeing, intuition, high levels of consciousness. You need to work on that. And maybe you see it and then you're like, no, nah, it's just me worrying. And then it happens. Maybe uh, their death was something you worried about. Maybe they recently died or a couple months back. And the animal is hopeful. Either you or the animal are both hopeful. Your pet is hopeful for you to get where you want. And the same with you. The, maybe you're having self-doubts. Like, oh, I don't think I'm doing goodly. I haven't been the same. I should stop. But they're like, no, you've accomplished so much. Maybe even their death hope to realize that like life like you matured after that and what I think is like some either a pet or a human is sacri not sacrificed but like they die for a, like they die and it helps us get where we want to be. It's not stuff to say that, but it's like, oh, you can't like change yourself or think clearly if that does not happen. It's with me because if my mother didn't die, I would probably not be doing this. I probably wouldn't been through the pain well, maybe I would have more heart-breaking pain because I think she died because she was going to get worse 
within time. She's going to get real hurtful, negative, and would have drained me. In the base chakra, let's see in the base chakra, we need that. I've got this chakra, known as the base or the root chakra, this energy is situated at the base of the spine and is most closely related to all of the, your earthly issues such as survival, the physical body, issue with money, substance, safety, and shelter. To balance this chakra, do yoga like some dancing or light physical exercise will help keep the energy flowing and harmonious. Honoring your body and taking care of it on the outside will bring you well-being on the inside. It works both ways. So, what I'm getting is they had to die you to be changed and you matured or no more knowledge after their death and you both are hopeful hopeful for a change and you might have like severe depression or so you're judging yourself about your um achievements that you had and the foundation kind of like breaking or so and I think they're trying to talk to you to stay like keep going keep going keep going so they're still here they love you they wish they could be there with you physically but they had to had to go back home to wherever the other people are. Maybe you don't believe in heaven, or maybe you're like, they can go somewhere, like you don't believe in heaven or hell. Just wherever uh, you go, or what you think. And you guys will be together. So yeah, there you go. They're trying to talk to you, practice that, try yoga, meditating and all that. There had to be a sacrifice for you to change. Maybe it was bad and then later on it could be a good thing. So that's it, number three. Thank you guys for watching.